On the weekend, Beck and I had the pleasure of attending a Metagenics conference. Um, it was specifically on women's health and it specifically covered the topics of endometriosis, dysmenorrhea, which is painful periods, and then migraines. Um, so I want to share with you two key things that stood out. It was a really informative, um, heaps of information, especially on management of all those three conditions. Um, but I think these are the two things that really stood out for me. First and foremost, dysmenorrhea in adolescence. So if you are an adolescent or if you're a parent of a daughter who's experiencing painful periods, um, also known as dysmenorrhea, what they have found, what the research has shown us, is that it's really important to be really aggressive in the management, so helping alleviate the symptoms and managing the pain, because research is showing us that later in life, adolescents are having more um, troubles in terms of with chronic pain, so they're experiencing more conditions like chronic headaches, migraines, um, chronic low back pain, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome, fibromyalgia, and um, bladder symptoms as well. So I think if we can be a little bit more aware of and listen to um, when our daughters, or if you are a female experiencing painful periods, getting some further investigation, um, that will help further down the track with management of pain. And then my second really big takeaway was painful periods, getting really clear on, okay, what is normal and what's not normal. Um, so painful, so what is normal um, for periods is pain day one, day two of a menstrual cycle. Um, pain that doesn't impact our quality of living, our activities of daily life. So it still enables you to attend social events, you're still able to um, go to work, and your pain is alleviated with um, things like pain relief, so Panadol, Nurofen, or a natural supplement, uh, heat packs, TENS machines, and gentle stretching. So that's what we classify as a normal period. Now what's not normal, um, and this is where we need to investigate further into, into reasons why, is painful periods for more than a couple of days, impacting quality of life, so not being able to go to work, being bedridden, um, really bad pain, that's not alleviated with your heat pack, um, your stretching, and it's just impacting your quality of life. So if you're someone experiencing those symptoms, um, it's, we encourage that you, know, you speak to your health practitioner. And we do know that women's health is um, something that's it's really hard to manage. We don't have enough research in it, but it might be a matter of speaking. You might try one, two or three different practitioners before someone listens to you. But finding that person and finding some strategies to help you move forward and manage those pains.